good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech and I'm back with another brand new 3D printer today friends it's the Magician X2 from Maginda so let's get cracking of course let's start with what's in the box first we've got a notice don't touch the z-axis lead screw when taking it out of the gantry be careful do not grab that don't lift the hot bed holder directly make sure you get the real base and when installing be careful not to press the wires of the z-axis motor four when installing the screw of the base do not press on the x-axis motor and five when installing the extruder please fix it with screws first be careful that the extruder does not drop and hit the platform, which makes a lot of sense. These make sense. Double check your cables. Note, be ready to power off the printer if something goes wrong on the first home. The rest of these cover our first print, and I'll touch on that later. All right, so I'm going to pluck this out, making sure I go below the screws. just like that. Noticing that we got dual Z already. Now we can remove this large piece. And here we can find the base all completely assembled. Once again, I'm gonna grab it from way underneath. And bingo, we've got a printer that we can start assembling. How cool is that? All right, so for quick assembly first, we've got accessories, tool kit, all that's in the bin we can check our parts list here notice they list how many of each item we've got over here on page two we get to assemble and it's to install the gantry we need two m525 so they are in the cute little case bingo those are all of our parts that's pretty crazy all right everybody before i connect this you can see i've spun it around there is actually a connector here so that you can slide this in and then you can see the screws that would come in from underneath that's pretty darn slick so you can see here i am not holding the screw and we're just sliding them into those grooves making sure we've got both sides just like that now we can tilt it up to get those screws started I'm gonna do the other one a little bit as well before I tighten them up when it's finished cool is that step two is to find the m420s and connect it on the sides to give it more strength there are the m420s as you can see easy to line up quickly find the wrench that is correct well, let's zip them in really like the way this all lines up I also really like being able to spin this around and show you the other side that quick. I also really like being able to spin my build table around just like that. Next up is the filament holder. Uh, this is pretty slick. It just slides on, snaps in place. You can put it on either side absolutely instantly. Next up we're going to connect the hotbed, both motors, and the arranging wire. The hotbed slides on, clicks in, that easy. Oh, of course, we do need to make sure we fix it in with those last two screws. Note they even have awesome labels here reminding us to do it. We can also easily connect both the Z's. Note you may have to pull them out just a little bit so that you can get that right angle and slide them in. Bingo. And then finally, here is the ribbon cable. Hard to get it much easier than that. Next up, we're going to push the extruder parallel 
into the support. Make sure that the screw holes on the top of the extruder are aligned with the screw holes on the support and then use the M410 to fix the extruder to the support. I do also want to go back here to step 5 where they said please fix it with the screws first. Be careful that the extruder does not drop on the platform. Alrighty so there is the hot end. Let's take a look inside. Couple of fans also cooling here. This is looking pretty darn sharp. You can see how easily that sits right on top and then we can take the screw and simply get it started with our fingers and then also get the one in the back making sure like they said that it doesn't fall on the assembly. And I'll spin this around and you can see the other one is right in there just like that. Hard to finger start that one. But just like that friends we have got an assembled printer. Of course we do need to finally attach the cable. Bam. Friends, step Friends, one is step auto, one is level. auto leveling. Let's double click. Notice it is heating and we just need to wait it's heating for up it before to get it does moving. It. it took a little more than a minute. But of course, I sped up that chunk of the video. Just like I did this, but as you can see, it only takes a couple minutes. Hard to imagine steps being any easier than that. Next up is filament loading. I'm going to choose PLA and return to the main screen. Inside the little white box you can clearly see the temperature. It is warm enough so I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to choose extrude and then load. I'm going to switch to 10 millimeters and of course we're just going to keep tap and load until we've got the filament extruding and bingo we've got filament being extruded. Friends, it is time for our first print, and as you can see, I am loading Kira 5.31. The first step, of course, is to create a new printer or add a new printer. We are doing a non-ultimator. If we look, Mingda is in the list. The Magician X is there, but not the X2, so we're going to make ours custom. To do that, go all the way to the top. We're going to choose custom FFF and we're going to change that to Magician X2 and hit add. We need to change these to 230, 230, and 260. Notice if you use the tab button, it maneuvers between them super slick and already has the numbers selected. We also need to check heated bed. Next step, we need to hit extruder one, and we need to make this 1.75. At that point, you need to add your SD card to your computer. You'll notice there is a Kira profile. We're gonna add that super quick. Return to Kira preferences. Zip down to profiles. We are already with the Magician X2 and choose import from that USB card. You can grab the Cura profile and hit open and give it an OK. So we've just got the X2 PLA Plus. Friends, with that done, I'm going to hit close and then I always start with this tiny cube. If you don't have this cube, it is available on my website. I've got a folder called 3D Modeling. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type one cube because it is a tiny one centimeter cube. I love this because the print is fast and it has a great chance of being successful when you're first learning about your 3D printer. Now remember we do have that SD card in so it would be ready but I want to change some settings. I'm going to start with extra fast. 
Once again, my goal is to get that first print done quick so I can learn about the printer. I'm going to stay with 0.8. I'm going to stay with 0.8 for the top and bottom. 20% infill is good. I'm going to do the 200 and the 190. Print speed of 60. I do not like brim. I like skirt. And then I'm going to also change this to four lines and a skirt distance of 10. This is just my default for when I'm first testing a 3D printer and of course save it to the removable disc. Finally eject it and let's take it to the printer. So let's start by inserting the SD card. Notice it does go in upside down. We are going to go to the print button. We are going to print from the SD card. They sent us a rabbit. I'm going to do the one cube. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong one so I'm going to hit cancel. Once again I want one cube Bingo, I got it, so I'm gonna hit confirm. It was already preheated, so here we go. friends so that was three minutes in real time even with my talking in the beginning and check it out that is an unbelievably crisp centimeter cube oh my gosh 0.3 millimeter layers that's bonkers friends there you have it the magician x2 from maginda set up start to finish and your first 3d print in a matter of minutes now friends of course i'm on my website hlmodtech.com this is my 3d printers tab down at the bottom you will find that cube file that i used in my print of course i recommend that because it is a great way to get your feet wet as you're first starting working with a 3d printer of course friends there will be a lot more to come so make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you want to be the first to know make sure you hit notifications as well finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.